Steam dynamos are machines that can generate redstone flux. They combine water and a small selection of fuels to create steam, from which the redstone flux is then generated. This table here shows the fuels that the steam dynamo can run on. Obviously, the main objective here is to generate as much redstone flux as possible, so the RF column is probably the most important. In future versions of thermal expansion, this info in this table here might become slightly outdated, so I recommend checking out the wiki page if you're in doubt. There will be a link in the description as well. Once you've selected your fuel source, you need to provide the steam dynamo with water. Putting a bucket of water in the interface doesn't actually do anything, so you need to right click on the outside of the dynamo with the bucket, or you can pump the water in with a buildcraft fluid pipe or a thermal expansion fluid duct. As soon as you have supplied it with fuel and water, the steam dynamo will begin creating steam. The steam is shown in this bar here. As soon as this bar reaches a little over halfway, which is 2040 millibuckets, or MB, it will begin producing redstone flux, which is shown by this bar here. It's important to move the redstone flux out of the steam dynamo as quickly as possible, because the redstone flux inside the dynamo's internal buffer will decrease on its own. Also, as the buffer fills up, the flux output will fall, meaning it's far more efficient when it's operating with an empty buffer. To carry energy out of the dynamo, you have to use an energy conduit, or simply connect the dynamo directly to an energy cell. In this case, I'm just going to use a conduit. The leadstone energy conduit has the ability to transfer energy at a rate of 80 redstone flux per tick, which, conveniently enough, is the same rate that the steam dynamo outputs at. I'll connect it to a nearby leadstone energy cell, remembering that the power will only come out of this phase on the dynamo. By right-clicking on the leadstone energy cell, we can have a look at its interface. The redstone flux that the steam dynamo has generated will show up here in this bar. You have to hover your cursor over the bar to show you the exact energy amount. If the amount is below 20,000, it simply won't show up on the bar, and at a glance, you might think that there's nothing in there. It's also possible to feed steam directly into the dynamo, which means that it can generate redstone flux without directly using water and fuel. This process will be covered in a separate tutorial. There are three other dynamos that you might be interested in. I have separate tutorials for all of those located here if you're interested. If you found this video helpful or informative, please give it a like. And if you want to see more tutorials like this one, you might want to consider subscribing. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments and have a great day.